Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now it is perfectly legal for politicians <coughs> to meet with people from uh, another country. It happens all the time. A member of Congress, for example, uh, might meet with uh, a foreign businessman to talk about opening a branch of his business here in the United States. Or an official, uh, they might meet with an official from another country to talk about trade or any number of other issues that come up between different countries. But these meetings are not kept secret. Often they are announced. Pictures are taken. Statements are issued. What the Donald Trump campaign was doing was secretly contacting the Russians in meetings and by phone during the election campaign and trying to keep those contacts secret. In fact, they denied them up until the time they, they couldn't deny them anymore. And at the time, the Russians were hacking the DNC, state election offices, and officials and businesses and private citizens. And they were also planting fake news stories, all in order to influence the election. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is that those were acts of war. No, not all acts of war are done with missiles and bullets. A cyber attack is as much an act of war as a missile attack. Sanctions are also acts of war. So the Russians attacked us and we struck back. No troops were deployed, nobody died, but the, both countries took shots at each other, just in a different kind of way. So it would have been perfectly legal for the Trump campaign staffers to meet with the Russians for any number of reasons. But if they encouraged the Russians to continue hacking the election, which by the way Trump publicly did during his campaign, if they asked the Russians to do specific things during the election, if they in any way assisted the Russians in what they were doing, all of those things are very problematic. Whether they amount to treason, I can't say, but they are illegal. It's illegal to assist another country in attacking the United States. So, for example, uh, Mike Flynn helped disseminate the Pizzagate story, which was part of the fake news that came out during that campaign. If the Pizzagate story was part of the Russian fake news operation, then what Flynn did was illegal. Or if any of Trump campaign staffers gave the Russians, for example, an email address of a Democratic campaign staffer, that would be illegal. But most important, if Trump or any of his surrogates, for example, if they promised to remove the sanctions that the U.S. placed against the Russians for hacking the campaign, then that's illegal. Because that would be encouraging the Russians to continue their acts of war against the United States. So right now, we don't know exactly what happened. We don't know what happened in those secret meetings. We don't have the transcripts from those secret phone calls. But if they did any of those things, they're in big trouble. And so is the Donald Trump presidency. Thanks for listening.